Hey guys, uh, kind of an exciting day for me. Um, I don't feel that great though, so excuse me. Um, my voice is a little trash or whatever, but uh, I had to share this with you guys. Um, I got a new base. Yeah, I hope uh, it plans on being my number one. Um, when I bought this one back before uh, Corona, um, I only spent 200 bucks on it. And I was like, um, you know, if I stick with it, I'll buy myself something nice someday. Um, but surprisingly, this $200 base has turned out to be like um, still one of my favorite bases. Um, it's got the PJ setup. It's got a 40 millimeter neck, which is right um, sweet spot for me in between the jazz bass and the P bass size. Um, everything about it, um, it's just pretty great. But um, I did want something a little higher end. I've tried a jazz bass, a P bass, a Jaguar, a five string BB, a five string TBRX, an active TBRX with humbuckers. And um, I got all those for super deals, so I never really spent a whole bunch of money. Um, I bought the TRBX 305 new for, what's it, $400 or so. The, the um, Squire Jaguar was about $500. Um, and yeah, so that's getting up there, but still kind of in the middle price range. I always thought I'd spend maybe a thousand on something someday. Um, and so, this is what we ended up with. Came in just under $900 actually, for shipping. And it's a PJ setup. And this is a crappy box cutter. Doesn't stick. <laughs> um, so PJ setup, it's got the same 40 millimeter neck, high end base, um, and uh, I never thought I liked the bursts when I first got into this, but it's I guess it's one of those things they just grow on you, the classic look, and this burst is um, on the dark side, so we've got a box in the box. ones got the Yamaha branding on it. it says BB 734A I think the A is just active um, we got a uh, shipping invoice in this box but mostly uh, don't need that so I hear this also comes with a nice gig bag um, the Indio bases actually came with a really nice gig bag for what they uh, cost. Um, and I've heard good things about this one, so I'm curious. I'm guessing it's just in the gig bag in here. And yes, it is. All right. So, I didn't expect to get this quite this soon, but I've been saving some money and uh, had a few good nights at work. I work for tips and so every once in a while you really score or have a good run, I should say. I had a pretty good run. Wow, okay, there it is. So yeah, super beefy gig bag. Definitely better than the Indio gig bag. Velcro handle. Nothing there but a front pouch, a top pouch. Oh, oh, that's part of the strap there for strength. Handle there. Pouch up here. I guess. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, and there's something in that one. So there's our documentation, a couple Allen keys. And a nine bolt, that's right. It's active passive with a switch so you can turn off the active. Oh my gosh, here it is. Uh, I wanted to buy it from Sweetwater, but um, they've been out of it forever. So I got this from Musician's Friend on eBay. 
Ooh, the pe the case is all felty inside and padded. Dang. Okay. A little Velcro thing for the neck. And out it comes. Ooh. So this is the dark coffee sunburst. Four string. PJ. Alder maple, alder body. It's got a maple core that runs through the middle here. So the neck bolts into the maple part. So it's got maple running all the way through it. And all, oh yeah, it's pretty. Oh, look at that. Beautiful finish. Neck through, comes out the bottom at a 45 degree angle. Black satin finish neck. How dope is that? Oh my God. So that's sort of what I tried to do with my pink B base, but not at all like that. Oh, look, the way the black and the rosewood fretboard looks is killer. Pretty sure it is a real rosewood fretboard. Graph Tech nut, they said. Um, kind of surprising it's white, I forgot. I don't really remember seeing it in the picture, but a lot of times they do black nuts. They got one on my TRBX. All right, there it is. Got sort of like oval shaped fret markers. So kind of unique. Unique pick guard pattern. Three band EQ with killer knobs. Oh, these are sweet. Ooh, and they feel sweet. Nice little click in the middle. So we got treble, mid, bass, we got master volume, we got pickup, bridge, and neck, and our active passive switch. And then the, um, I, like, I like this design of this um, bridge as well. Um, instead of a high mass bridge, if you look at that, it's just got a little lip there. So they're covering up the ends of the strings if you decide to string through the bridge. But um, it stock, it comes strung through the body. So I don't know if you can see that, but those strings are going right down through the body at a 45 degree angle and coming out through those ferrules right there. Got a metal jack plate there. Super cool, satiny, smooth headstock. Oh, and I was curious about this. And yes, indeed, um, this is not a, a label or a decal. There's actually a little uh, medallion type of um, logo there. That's the Yamaha logo. Um, oh, super cool finish on the tuners and the hardware. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm in love. Neck feels sweet, feels a lot like my TRBX. 174. One thing I didn't like too much about the higher end TRBXs is the neck got really wispy. And um, I like something kind of in the middle. And this is uh, right in the middle as far as the neck goes. Definitely not a chunky P bass neck, but definitely not a wispy jazz bass neck. It's right in the middle. Um, wow, yeah. So, what do you guys think of the finish? I, I've got. Um, all the windows open so it's probably getting some weird reflections but um but yeah dark and classic looking all right well i'm gonna try this out and um i'll let you know what i think but oh man this thing is sweet i was wondering if you really get oh this neck feels incredible if you really get that much more when you spend a little more, and uh, yeah, um, this puts my cheap bases to shame. All right, well, this is it. This is my number one. Um, I don't think I'm buying any more bases for a long time. So um, I've still got a review of my five string BB, uh, but just suffice it to say that I think I'm more of a four string guy. Uh, when I want to grab a base, I, um, so far, I still like to grab the four string, um, and I like the active, or excuse me, I like the PJ setup better than humbuckers. Um, so I think this is my base. Uh, yeah, all right, guys. Hope you have a good one. I'm gonna try this out with a few songs later, 
and uh, I'll uh, let you know what I think, uh, and we'll do a deep dive review, not like the other guys do, but I'll just let you know um, uh, my impressions on it after owning it for a little while. Wow, that neck is pretty, and it's super smooth. I like that it's not super dark, so you kind of get that tan and black thing going. And this neck is a little bit translucent. This neck is actually a five piece one. It's got a couple stripes of uh, mahogany going through it and you can slightly see those. I wonder if you can on the headstock. Uh, I can't see them on the front of the headstock. It looks matte black. Can't really see them on the back, but I can sort of see them right through here. Yep, I can definitely see them in that light. Maybe um, I'm gonna bump this. All right, and I wondered if you could see the um, any sign through the edge of translucency to see that layer in there, but you cannot, as far as I can tell. All right, well, enough of that. Hey, uh, got a new uh, spot for this guy right here. Oh, all right. Have a good one, guys.